Hey, what's up guys? Um, I just wanted to make a video talking about the importance of maintaining healthy friendships and I think in in general I think it's really it's really good to maintain healthy relationships with people throughout time and um, I think that especially if you're dealing with depersonalization, it is incredibly important to have friends who can listen to you and um, just be there to listen to whatever you have to say and whatever you have to work through. And so you can, you can see each other grow and you can see the progress that, ever, that like you and your friend are making. And I know for me that I feel like some part of my upbringing has left me to kind of, if I'm not with somebody or seeing them as often, I'll tend to just kind of write them off and think that, oh, you know, we're not going to be, we must not be like that good of friends anymore. We'll probably just drift apart and you really got to challenge that thinking um you got to realize that just because one of your good friends that you're used to talking to a lot hasn't been talking to you a lot or you just haven't found time to spend with them um it doesn't mean that you're not friends anymore <laughs> and this is this is just like it seems like an obvious thing but I feel like a lot of us deal with this kind of abandonment within us. And so as a coping mechanism to feeling kind of abandoned, we just say, oh, okay, like, I guess we're not friends anymore. Didn't really, didn't really mean that much to me anyways, but that's not the case. Like you got to, you got to really invest in people you've got to listen to other people and you've got to become a, a good listener. You got to do, you got to be to others what you want them to be for you. And so that means that you got to be this, a source of, of unconditional love and acceptance and not for everybody, not, you don't have to, you don't have to just listen to everybody. Um, you can really, you can choose who you really trust and who you want to develop these relationships with. But if this person or these people are really worth it and you know that they've invested in you, then what's helped me is to not push them out, out of my life, even if that means just not contacting them anymore or like not giving up don't give up on your friends and this is interesting because recently I I told one of my friends from middle school and high school that I didn't really want him to be in my life anymore and I was I was basing this decision on past experiences with him and so the whole time he he let me have my space and he didn't necessarily agree with what I was doing but eventually I realized that I was I was doing um, I was making this decision off of what was happening in the past and so I texted him and I said you know I'm like I'm sorry um, like you were right. I don't really regret saying what I said, but I was viewing you in the past. And so I hope you can forgive me. And so we made peace. And I think that is just really hard, but really important to maintain friendships with people. Um, especially people that you really care about and that have invested in you. 
And so, first you got to find those people if you haven't found them already. Um, but once you've found them, you got to keep them, keep them around. They'll help you a lot. They'll, they'll give you a sense of, of stability, really. A sense that, you know, you're not going to go anywhere um, in terms of the friendship. And so, just wanted to talk about that. Hope it helps you guys out. Um, basically, just try to become a, a better listener and start to really, if you want, like, deep, real relationships and real relief, you've got to... You gotta spill the beans. You gotta, you gotta tell, tell it like it is. And sometimes that sucks, but it's that's truly how you develop real, intimate relationships, friendship, or romantic. And so, yeah. Hope this helps. Just wanted to kind of talk about this. Um, kind of verbalize this, and I think it's relevant for anybody who's um, experiencing depersonalization because these people, these friendships, um, will help you get over it, and they'll help you develop more emotional intelligence, awareness, and it'll help you develop some empathy as well. So, hope this helped. Deuces.